The ICA's 10th annual conference in London saw hundreds of delegates from around the world get together to talk about the hot topics in compliance. The compliance industry has been on a journey, moving from a focus on controls, policies and procedures to a focus on culture, people and values. And what better way to make that change than by bringing people working in compliance together. I've travelled all the way from Dubai just for this, for, for three days and I'm flying back tonight. So I think it's very important to network with the people here and also what you take back from this. You know, there's a lot of people back there who are expecting to receive some information from this session. Compliance is a growing field, it's an evolving subject. Um, so it's always good to interact with people, find out the kind of challenges they're going through and try and really uh, compare with yours. The opportunity to network and meet colleagues face to face to trade stories, ideas and best practice is one of the main draws for people to the conference. And one of the skills I asked everybody to engage in at the end was, you know, let's, let's tell our stories. Let's talk about one or two incidents that we've all gone through that we either um, have come out the other end far more knowledgeable about it um, and we can share that, that wisdom and advice and quite frankly to just broaden the ICA family resource that it is. As well as all the talking, there was an opportunity to listen to world-class speakers too. Some from different industries, talking on a wide range of subjects which feed into the challenges facing compliance professionals. It's great to be in a room with people who are interested and work on a similar problem but from a different perspective. We are a research and advocacy organization and an advisory organization to governments. We don't do compliance, we don't do investigations. So for me to be able to come and give my perspectives, hear the responses, uh, and be able to have a conversation with people who are on the front lines of trying to address the problem in a regulatory perspective, I think would be very helpful for me as well. Ultimately, the ICA exists to enable the compliance industry to improve and grow, moving beyond a tick box culture to one where compliance is seen as fundamental to the running of an organization. The industry is going through massive change. Individuals are having to work hard to keep up. So it's invaluable for them to have access to thought leaders in the field. Um, and what they're basically learning at these conferences is real-time challenges with respect to compliance and financial crime. So it's something that I, as a head of compliance, would encourage all of my team members to be a part of. From my perspective, it's really interesting to speak to other practitioners, what they're doing to support the strategy of the bank without compromising their regulated status. It's almost a confirmation that what I'm myself doing um, is along the right path. This year's event attracted a range of high-profile sponsors who realised the benefit that being here brings. Compliance is one of the key um, roles that we actually target as a whistleblowing charity. So compliance is important as a risk mitigator and we want to find out what's going on in the compliance community, what they feel and this is a great way to interact with those individuals in compliance especially. They really bring together a good um, uh, combination of practitioners and um, vendors and also some of the, uh, the, the key prime movers within the market, the regulators and the enforcement agencies. So it's a very good forum for us to attend. This was the 10th annual ICA conference and delegates and speakers thought it was the best yet. When I first came to these events many years ago, it was a small number of people and didn't have the same energy and didn't have the same vibrancy. Now it's massively energetic. You've got such great caliber individuals and people I'm in awe of as well. And to see that transformation, evolution of the ICA and profession is, I think, wonderful. And this event was such a success that people are already signing up for next year. It keeps people up to date, it's current, the vision is building communities, that's our motto at the moment for 2020. It's how can we engage with our community, keep them up to date and keep them properly well trained so that they're competent and professional at their jobs. That community is continuing to grow. ICA membership has risen by 6,000 this year, so expect to see many new faces at next year's event.